Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was helpful and inspiring. Please let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. We always love hearing what you have to say. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button for notifications so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thanks again so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. To make our palm desert earrings, you're going to need Toho 11 Aught round seed beads in two different colors. I have this lovely kind of ivory color with a rainbow finish and a really nice, um, just like a salmon, a peach color that I thought was great for summer. You'll also need um, check glass prong beads in a couple different colors. These beads just have a really cool prong shape with a stringing hole drilled through the top. I've got this uh, topaz pink color and kind of this dark copper color. You'll also need some endless hoops. I've got 22 gauge gold filled endless hoops here and eye pins. These are two inch 21 gauge eye pins. You'll also need some check glass half drilled finial beads. These are just round beads that are only drilled halfway through the bead. I'm gonna use those on the end of our um, eye pins. So I'm dangling the eye pin from the loop and I'm not finishing the end with making another loop, but I'm using a finial half drilled bead. You'll also need some glue. We recommend two part epoxy adhesive and you'll also need um, some earring backs. I've just got some rubber clutches here that I used um, for when you're wearing the earrings. Okay, so to start making these earrings, we're gonna add our seed beads to the eye pin first. And I have added 13 seed beads in this white color first. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we're going to add three of that peachy salmon color, and then just add white seed beads to the end of our wire. We're going to want to leave enough room to glue on that finial bead. There we go. So I'm ready to add my finial. So for gluing finial beads, we like to use a two-part epoxy adhesive. A five-minute epoxy is a good idea because it dries in about five minutes um, and you're only gluing a couple finial beads in this project, so that's a good idea. Um, and we uh, like to use that because it does dry so fast. So Typically, epoxy adhesive comes in two parts, A and B. You mix them together in equal amounts to activate the glue. So once you've got your glue all mixed and you're ready to glue your finial bead onto the end of your wire, I'm just gonna dip that tip of my wire into the glue, pick up a finial bead and add it right on there. Press it on, give it a nice little press and then allow that to dry. And you can wipe away any excess with a, a wipe, like a wet wipe or a paper towel, um, and then just allow that to dry. And you can go ahead and repeat this with your other eye pin, just get the gluing out of the way altogether so you don't have to be remixing your epoxy adhesive or anything like that. Just glue both ends on there. So get your beads on your eye pin and then glue the finial bead in place and allow that to dry. Now the finial, the five minute epoxy will dry in about five to 10 minutes, but it still needs 24 hours curing time. So it'll dry pretty quickly and you can continue making your earrings, but I would let those earrings sit for at least 24 hours to make sure the epoxy adhesive is cured. So that way if you wear them and they're moving around, you, you're gonna make sure that those finial beads are coming off. So just make sure to pay attention to that curing time versus drying time. 
All right, so you've got your little seed bead dangles done. You could simply add these to the endless hoop and that would be a really cute earring idea. But I like the prong beads because they look like little palm leaves. They make like little palm fronds and then the seed bead dangle becomes like the trunk of the palm tree. So I quite liked that idea. So I'm gonna add some check glass prong beads to give it a palm tree vibe. Um, and that's pretty easy. And when you're adding these, you wanna make sure that they're all kind of dangling the same way that they're all oriented in the same way so i'm alternating colors so i added a pink i'm going to add a copper and again i'm just making sure i'm adding this bead in the same orientation as the first one so it will lay the same way on the ear wire so adding three there and then i'm going to add my seed bead dangle Add it right on, and then I'm going to add more prong beads, making sure it's laying in the same way as the rest of them. And there you have it. You've got really cute. I think those are so, so cute. And they're not too palm tree -y. It's just like a subtle feeling of palm trees and I really like the colors I think they're super nice for summer I think you could wear these into fall um, get rid of the um, what's great about these uh, earring hoops is uh, they have an open end so I'm using a clutch to keep those secured you could take those off take the palm tree the prong beads off and then just leave the dangle and then you've got something that can go into fall easily if you don't want to give off the palm tree vibes so that's really cool um, a cool way to keep customizing this design throughout the seasons or you could add different beads you know switch up the look um, it's a really just fun, quick project, introduces you to the use of finial beads in a fun way. Um, and finial beads are available by the tube, so you'll have lots more to use. Um, like they make great custom head pin ends, great in this project. You can use them as cord ends too. Um, just so many different uses for the finial beads. Um, so this is a great little intro project to prong beads, finial beads, and of course, a great way to use some of those fun seed bead colors that you, I know you have in your stash who can resist all of the seed bead colors. So that's how to make our palm desert earrings. I've got full text instructions in the design studio at artbeads.com. I will link them in the video description. You'll also find a supplies list for these earrings there as well, so you can shop all of the beads and components that I used here today. Um, and there'll also be links to some of our other tutorials, like our tutorial for mixing and using two-part epoxy adhesive. So definitely check all of that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hello, art beaters. Becky here for artbeads.com, and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make my palm desert earrings. These are a really fun and simple earring technique featuring a single dangle of seed beads finished with a half-drilled finial bead, and I also added some fun check check glass prong beads in there as well to make a little palm tree vibe. And that's all just put on a hoop earring, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's dive in.